What's poppin' Leah here? So today we're gonna go over um, the pouring medium recipe for the US. Um, I know there's a lot of new people in the group, so I figured I would give you my recipe. And this recipe that I use is good for pigments or tube paints. Um, and what I use is the Valspar Base C. You can get this at Lowe's. I use the Bare 8300. You can get this at Home Depot. And Min Wax Polyacrylic. You can get this at Walmart, Lowe's, or Home Depot, I think. Um, and sometimes if I need my paints, like my two paints, a little bit thicker, I use the um, triple thick. <laughs> So, and I was out of pouring medium, so I figured I would make this video for you guys in hopes that, you know, it'd help you. Um, so, what I, I do a one to one to one ratio, and hold on, I'm only going to make a small amount. So, I'm going to do one ounce of this Valspar. Where's my lines? There they are. one ounce of the Valspar and this recipe um, does not dull your pigments or your tube paint. Um, um, I was using the Glidden Premium and it's got titanium in it that I, I, I didn't know that when I first started out and it was making all my colors pastel so I had to find something that worked for me and this is the recipe I've been using for about two and a half months and hold on, I'll show you. This is a, um, a painting that I did, um, and it's mixed with the Valspar. It's mixed with this same exact recipe, and there's two paints and pigments in here, so you can see, you know, that it didn't dull anything. Like, it works really well, and I wouldn't tell you guys to use it if it wasn't something I would use. Um, so now we're gonna do an ounce of the bear. And then I've got my Min Wax in a squirt bottle. It just makes it easier. So we'll use that. I hope you guys all are having a great new year. Um, mine's been okay so far. Sorry about that. And then now I'm going to put... Hold on. Bring it up to the three line, and then we stir. Mm. I do, um, like like this recipe a lot it needs a little bit more min wax and here's the consistency and if you're doing uh actually well i need to mix some colors anyway so we'll do it while you're on here. All right. Oh, and if you guys want to know what pillow paint I use, like I said, I'm in the U.S. I use um, the Glidden Essentials uh, Semi-Gloss White. Um, I, I did use Color Place, and I had so many bubbles in my, in my pillow, so I ended up switching to that. Sometimes, um, like if it's really cold, I'll have to mix GAC 800 in it, um, you know, uh, to make it, you know, move a little bit better. Sometimes it gets, you know, it's kind of thick. Now I have did a test, um, you like very, very tiny little bit of water, um, like if, if you need it. Um, and when I say little, I mean, you only need a little bit because a lot goes a long way or a little goes a long way. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Okay, we're going to mix some tube paints, uh, and I use about, hold on, about one, two, and 
kind of probably about, you know, those, as Lisa would say, bloops. <laughs> There's two bloops in there. Um, so, and I only put about half of them, I don't know, maybe an ounce. And I'll show you, like, this is the consistency with the two paints. So it does, like, using the Valspar with the Bear, um, they're both really clear. They both dry really clear. So um, whenever I found this recipe, I was I was hoping that, it, you know, I could still be able to use my two paints, not just pigments, and it works. So I was excited. Sometimes if you let your, you know, after you mix your two paints, they, they might get a little thick. So I'll just add like, you know, one, two, three little drops, and then it'll thin it right out. And uh, just another, like, not a heads up, but just an idea. Um, I, I always will, pre like, if you're having trouble with, um, like, bubbles in your paintings, I will, like, I won't use this paint that I just mixed up until tomorrow. Like, probably the same time. I just get let it settle for a day because you can, you know, you can't really see on the video. But, like, right after you mix it, the it, you've got to give the paint time for the air bubbles to release. So, just an idea. I'll mix one more, and then I will let you guys have a wonderful day. One, two. If you find this uh, video helpful, please subscribe, uh, like, comment. Um, I do, I am gonna start doing, I've been playing around with the piggies and Dutch pours. I'm trying to figure out a recipe to where I can just do a Dutch pour with only piggies. I have not succeeded on it yet, but I'm getting close. Okay, there's another one. And that's with this recipe. Okay, well, I hope you guys have a great day. And like I said, please like and comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm very new to all of this. Um, I'm kind of just doing it um, maybe to help some people in the group that are in the U.S., um, so I hope this helps and I hope you guys have a great day and I will see and talk to you soon.